Hi, I am Dr. Cowell Agriculture Specialist Indoor Farming. Welcome back to the learning session. Today we will discuss about choosing the right grow lights for hydroponic system. Are you raising the problem of your hydroponic plants wither away due to lack of sunlight? Have you been storming your brain trying to figure out the key to achieving those delicious, juicy tomatoes or vibrant, fragrant herbs? Don't worry. You are in the in the right place, a place for all hydroponic lovers seeking answers to their light source dilemmas. Get ready as we embark on an illuminating journey to uncover the mysterious world of grow lights and discover how choosing the right ones will turn your hydroponic endeavors from dreary to triumphant. Indoor farming as we know the latest technology to grow plants with or without soil using recirculating water system either in a greenhouse or a warehouse. This farming system rely on complete or supplement light to grow plants. Plants needs light for photosynthesis process where they convert light energy into carbohydrates which helps them grow. Different plant species require varying amounts and types of light during their growth stages. Therefore, selecting the right lead grow light is essential for the optimal growth of plants in an indoor farming system like a hydroponic farming. Some factors are highly important and we cannot neglect them when choosing the grow light for the farming system. For example, some plants well grow in less light shady area while the other prefer brighter area full sunlight. Simply different plants' light requirements are different. Similarly, plants have a different growth stages from seed germination to final harvest. For example, if we are growing lettuce, the germination of seed don't need light and better grow in dark areas, but after germination it requires light for successful seedling. If we will not provide light, the seedling will become leggy or thin stem. Second factor is determine the size of your grow area and choose the correct number of grow lights. Calculate the total grow area in feet, width multiple BR length of the area. When you have figured out the growing area of your system, it's easy to determine the number of LED lights required. Uniform grow light coverage is essential for effective photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light into energy. Inconsistent coverage can lead to some parts of the plant not receiving enough light, resulting in stunted growth or poor development. This is especially important for flowering and fruiting plants where light distribution directly affects yield. Excessive light can cause problems like light burn and bleaching, while insufficient light can result in weak, elongated growth as plants stretch towards the light source. We know that the right light is crucial for plant health and yield, and determining the perfect number and type of grow lights can be quite the puzzle. Absolutely, it's one of the most critical factors in indoor gardening. Achieving the right grow light coverage goes beyond just providing your plants with light. It's about ensuring they receive the right amount of light evenly spread across the entire canopy. Excessive light can cause problems like light burn and bleaching, while insufficient light can result in weak, elongated growth as plants stretch towards the light source. Different types of grow lights, such as LEDs and fluorescents, have varied coverage patterns and intensities, affecting how evenly light is distributed across the plant canopy. The setup of your grow space, including light placement and the reflectivity of surroundings, also plays a significant role in ensuring even light distribution. Regular adjustments to light positioning are often necessary as plants grow to maintain uniform coverage. The importance of proper grow light coverage in indoor gardening cannot be understated. It ensures that every part of your plant receives the necessary light for healthy growth, leading to robust development and potentially higher yields. Third factor, calculate wattage requirements. Most flowering plants require 20 to 30 watts of light per square foot. Be careful not to give your plants too much light, which can lead to burning or bleaching. Calculate the total wattage needed based on your canopy size and the watts per square foot required for your specific plants. Fifth factor, 
Consider using LED grow lights. LEDs offer higher energy efficiency and customization options regarding light spectrum and color. Keep in mind the displayed wattage and actual wattage power draw when choosing LED grow lights as they can differ. Sixth factor, decide on the number of grow lights based on the wattage requirements you've calculated. Decide how many lights you'll need to cover the entire grow space. Keep in mind that multiple lights may be more effective in larger grow rooms, while smaller grow spaces typically only need one light. In summary, carefully consider your hydroponic grow room size, your plant's lighting needs, and your budget when choosing the correct number and type of grow lights. With the right setup, you'll be well on your way to enjoying a bountiful. Next, we will discuss regarding light intensity. Photosynthetic active radiation par. PPFD, duration of light, be ready for the next video. Subscribe the channel for regular updates for hydroponic farming. Thanks for watching video.